Hey, Tommy from the Run Testers with another Running Shoe Versus. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Saucony Triumph 20 and the On Cloud Monster. Let's have a look. The Saucony Triumph 20 costs £155 or $160. It weighs in at 264 grams for men in a size 8 and the drop is 10 millimetres. The On Cloud Monster costs £150 or $169.99, weighs in at 275 grams for men in a size 8, and the drop is 6 millimetres. The Saucony Triumph line is one of the most popular for runners that want a high level of cushioning for easy sessions, long runs and daily training miles. The Triumph 20 sees some upgrades to its predecessors with a modified Power Run Plus midsole foam to make the ride lighter and softer, along with a new geometry that sees an increased rocker and a smoother transition. In addition, there are changes to the lacing system and the upper material. Other design features include a Power Run Plus sock liner for comfort, a heel counter for better stability, and a healthy covering of outsole rubber for grip and protection. The On Cloud Monster is a max cushion shoe that features a thick Helion Super Foam midsole foam for comfort and cushioning. That foam combines with the full length speedboard and CloudTech design to produce rebound and minimize impact over easy day sessions. There's a mesh upper which offers a stretchy fit while still incorporating some reinforced sections for support and comfort. There's also an ample amount of cushioning around the ankle collar of the shoe with a lean design to the tongue. There's also an eyelet lacing system to ensure a lockdown fit. Okay, so the fit for me in the Cloud Monster is true to size, very comfortable shoe, nice roomy toe box, uh, no issues at all, so I go true to size in that. Again, the Triumph, true to size, very comfortable shoe, significantly more comfortable than most shoes that I test. It's got a lovely level of stepping comfort, a nice padded upper, but also quite breathable. More padding in it than the Cloud Monster, but not massively. Both shoes, true to size. <laughs> So these two shoes are options that you probably pick up if you want a high stack, heavily cushioned option for those easy day miles and possibly those longer runs. Um, but they're both quite different shoes. What I'll do is I'll start with the uh, Triumph 20 because Triumph 20 is one of my favorite shoes of the past year. I think it's a fantastic cushioned shoe and it's got a lot of nice new features that really make it an option that is pretty much in my top three most cushioned shoes around at the moment. It's a fantastic um, running shoe. The nice thing about the Triumph 20 on a run is that this new Power Run Plus midsole foam um, has been updated slightly. It's I think it's a little bit lighter. It feels a little bit softer, a little bit bouncier, um, but it's a very, very comfortable shoe to use for long runs. There's a lot of impact protection in it. It really does soften the landing on every step. And if I'm using this shoe for, I'm doing a lot of marathon training at the moment, so I'm doing a lot of long runs. When I use this shoe, my legs just feel great after it. It really makes the run just go really comfortably and really smoothly. I really enjoy it. But aside from that soft cushioning and a bit of bounce you get from that Power On Plus, there's a nice roll action to it. It's a lovely efficient turnover. It's a very enjoyable shoe to wear for long runs just because it keeps you going. You don't necessarily think about it too much apart from that that nice softness. And it just makes the the, the process of running comfortably really easy there's there's really nothing i don't like about this shoe i think it's absolutely fantastic and far superior to the 18 and 19 that came before it i didn't mind those two shoes i thought they were quite enjoyable i used the 19 quite a bit but i think this is a significant improvement on that it's just a bit lighter a bit more comfortable a bit more enjoyable to run in and it's just a great shoe. I'd also say that the outsole on this is great as well. There's a really nice covering of thick rubber um, and it grips really well um, on all different surfaces. So I really enjoyed running in the shoe. I think it's a fantastic, um, fantastic cushioned option and definitely one that I'd put in my top three. Now the Cloud Monster is another good shoe. I actually quite like this shoe and I would probably say this is the best shoe that On has in its lineup. One of the issues that on has is that the helium foam that it has in the majority of its latest shoes is a little bit firmer than what you'll find in shoes like the power on plus in the triumph um, which is not a bad thing um, it just means that it doesn't have the softness it doesn't have the bounds that you get from some of those shoes that have a little bit more uh, in the midsole foam but what happens with the Cullen Cloud Monster is there's a lot more of that helium foam um, in the midsole and it's still quite firm. It's still quite stable and sturdy, which is probably something that a lot of people want, that 
don't want the softness that you get in something like the Triumph 20 or the Brooks Grizzly 20. So that's a benefit to people that are used to running in on shoes or like firmer, more stable shoes. Um, by adding lots more of that foam, it is softer than what you'll find in other On shoes. That's why I think this is probably the best shoe that On have got in its collection at the moment, just because it is very different from, from the other shoes. Um, when you're using this for easy, easy runs and long runs, um, it's very comfortable. It's a nice fluid turnover. The speed board in this shoe, which is sort of like a, a plate that runs through it, which helps with efficiency. Uh, and there's a nice rolling action as well. So it's a very good shoe for easy days and long runs, just a little bit firmer than what I would usually go for, but it's still probably my favorite shoe in the On collection. What I would say about these two shoes is the On Cloud Monster isn't particularly versatile. I would only really use it for slow, easy day runs, longer, slower runs. Um, I definitely wouldn't use it for anything faster. Um, and I don't think that's a bad thing. I just think it's not necessarily a versatile shoe. It's definitely a good option if you're a runner likes the look of an on shoe and it's probably one of the best looking on shoes that you can get likes the look of an on shoe um likes the feel of an on shoe and just wants something that will cover them for general running uh training runs easy runs um and that's it really you won't want to you're not going any higher you're not going to use it for a race or anything like that whereas the triumph 20 is a lot more versatile than the on cloud monster Whereas the foam in it, that Power On Plus midsole foam, it's just a bit bouncier, just feels like you can go a bit faster in it. I think this shoe, I wouldn't class it as a race shoe but um, or, or a tempo shoe or anything like that, but you can train faster in it and it is relatively comfortable to do that. It feels like it's got a bit more to it than the On Cloud Monster. So if you're looking for a shoe that can do more than just your easy runs, I think this is a good option, but you really want that cushioning and comfort for your, for your runs. It's a great option for that. They're both very comfortable shoes. They're both great shoes for each day runs, so I don't think there's a massive difference in that, but I would say that the Triumph 20 has got a nice level of stepping comfort that the On Cloud Monster doesn't have. There's a lot of thin sections, especially around the tongue of the On Cloud Monster, which are fine, I'm not having any issues with, but the Triumph just has a more padded area, especially around the tongue, that just feels nice once you put your feet in it. Um, and just your foot sinks into that footbed of the shoe more noticeably than it would in the On Cloud Monster. <laughs> So my verdict on these two shoes is that they are both good cushioned options to go for, but the Triumph 20 gets it for me. Uh, it's just a bit more versatile. It's just a bit softer, a bit bouncier. There's just a bit more to this shoe um, in terms of those performance feels that you want to get. Um, and yeah, you can just run a bit faster in it as well. I, I've been picking this shoe up time and time again for my marathon training and I've just loved it every time. I think it's fantastic. Um, the Brooks Glycerin uh, line has been my favorite for a while. That was taken over by the uh, New Balance More V3, um, but I'm struggling between the New Balance More V3 and this and the new Brooks Glycerin 20 at the moment. They're all fantastic shoes for running easy and long, comfortable miles in. Um, and yeah, I, sometimes I'll take this out and feel like this is my favorite cushion shoe out at the moment. On Cloud Monster, I do enjoy running in, but I wouldn't put it in my top cushion shoes out at the moment it's it's somewhere on on the list but it's definitely not in like the top five for me um it's comfortable it's fine for easy day runs it's fine for longer slow runs but that it, the midsole for me is just a little bit too firm not very versatile and just doesn't have as much to it as the the triumph 20 has it's it's just a bit more of a a duller ride but i would also say that it's a bit more stable as well so if that's what you're looking for the on cloud monster might be one to go for definitely think it's the best shoe in the on collection um at the moment and probably the one i'd reach for if i was doing anything up to sort of daily training miles and i wanted just a really solid easy day shoe that was nice and stable for um, my runs um but yeah i'm going to try 20 for everything else because it's just very versatile and very enjoyable other options you could look at instead of these are the Brooks Glycerin 20. Now the Brooks Glycerin 20 has had a load of updates as well. It's really similar to Triumph 20. It's very difficult to choose between those two shoes. There's a new um, midsole foam in it, which is very similar to what you get in the Triumph. It's a bit more versatile. It's a bit softer. It's a bit more enjoyable to run in. The New Balance More V3 is one of my favorite shoes of all time. It's probably more like the On Cloud Monster actually in terms of it being the the, the fresh foam that you get in that shoe is a little bit firmer um, and just doesn't have the softness and bounce of the Triumph 20. The difference with that shoe is that it's got lovely fluid motion when you're running um, and I really enjoy that shoe for my easy day miles. Uh, and then lastly, the Nike Invincible 2, which is 
way softer than any of these shoes. So if you really want a soft ride that's a bit bouncy, it's got that Zumex midsole foam in it, that's a great option. It's such a comfortable shoe to wear. It feels great. It feels enjoyable to run in, whereas the On Cloud Monster is never going to be enjoyable. It's just going to do the job. Triumph is slightly enjoyable, but nowhere near as soft and bouncy and fun as the In Invincible 2. Um, but that level of softness and bounce is not for everyone. So that's probably why I'd go Triumph 20 above that as well, because it just sits in the middle of all of these shoes and just really ticks a lot of boxes for people that want easy day shoes and just pure, utter comfort. So that's it from me. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the little bell icon and check the channel out for all the other videos we've got from latest road and trail shoes, as well as running headphones and watches out at the moment. And don't forget to check out the monthly podcast, which comes out at the end of each month. If you go into the caption below, you can find the link to the podcast provider of your choice. And we hope you like it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.